Hey guys, Brian Hilliard here, author of the best-selling book, Networking Like a Pro, and creator of the popular program, How to Expand Your Reach, Impact More Lives, and Get Your Message Out to a Wider Audience. Now, I gotta tell you, I am fired up here today because we are gonna talk about the single biggest mistake that most people have made when it comes to the money conversation. It's a mistake that I have personally made more than once. Um, it's a challenge that a lot of people, when they talk about trying to enroll new clients into their programs, uh, they run into it all the time. And it's something that, you know, might be holding you back as well in terms of being able to impact more lives and obviously get your message out to a wider audience. Because a lot of people, they come to me and they say, you know what, Brian? I love being a coach. I love what it is I do. I love being a consultant. I love being able to get my message out. But I have to tell you, sometimes I get a little stuck with the money conversation. I am talking to people. I am having a good conversation. We are going back and forth. It's exciting. It's fun. It's free flowing. Everybody's happy. And then the money part comes up, right? And we've all been in there. And what happens? Things slow down. You start feeling awkward. You notice their body language is changing. You're getting nervous. And just it's like, duh, 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 right? And that's that doesn't have to be that way. As a matter of fact, imagine a reality where you're talking to people and you're effortlessly signing them on to your whatever your coaching program is, where you're able to talk with them about what it is that you do, how it is that you serve, and how much it's going to cost, and they say, put me down, where it's not having to deal with all of this awkwardness and having to deal with all this challenge and all these different things because you instead have some real easy ways for being able to have a money conversation um, that allows allows you to be able to effortlessly talk and work with people without being salesy, without being pushy, and without otherwise being over the top. Which brings us to the biggest mistake and the biggest challenge I've personally dealt with in the money conversation and maybe one you've dealt with as well, which is having somebody, when you're talking with somebody, and mistaking a high need for a high desire and then trying to make the money work. Let me say that again. Talking to a would-be client and mistaking a high need for a high desire and then trying to make the money work. All right, so let me step and unpack this a little bit. So you've heard, if you've heard me speak, you, you've heard me talk about this before. Uh, if you, we've got our program on, um, our podcast, excuse me, on Brand and Grow Your Coaching Practice and just all kinds of other things. So you might have heard this before in terms of me talking about it. But what happens is when I first got started and definitely, definitely years into the thing, into my practice, I would talk to somebody, and maybe you've done this too, and we are talking, and they're like, oh my gosh, this sounds awesome. Brian, you've got this program on XYZ. Let's say you're a life coach. Oh my gosh, my life is all over the place. And you're like, yeah, actually, <laughs> I can see it. It absolutely is. And they're like, well, what is it I can do? And you're talking, and they're writing, and they're talking, and you're writing, and all these things are taking 15 pages of notes, and you're thinking to yourself, boy, these guys, this person, this young lady, this individual has a high need to work with somebody like myself. Now, here's what happens though. We mistake that for a high desire. Brian, I thought they're the same. They're not. A need is I need to be able to, you know, I have a problem in my life that needs correcting. That's a high need, okay? A desire is, and I have a high desire to want to fix that problem. A lot of you guys know this. What happens is you have somebody who has a high need and then they have like a kind of a lukewarm desire and then you try to make it work during the money conversation. Well, I'll give you a half off or well, we'll only do two sessions instead of five or well, we'll, you know, maybe just buy my book. I had a guy who did that three times. He's like, oh, well, can we do this? No. Can we do this? No. Well, I'll just buy my book. No, <laughs> he actually bought it. <laughs> I hit return to send there. I refund it. I'm like, I'm not going out in the, to the post office. <laughs> I sent him an email back. I refunded. I said, listen, you're going to need to just do that on Amazon because like, I'm not going to the post office in the middle of an outbreak. You know, I, I was cordial about it, but like, no. Okay. I didn't mistake the high need for a high desire. He had a high need, but he had a low desire. 
what he had a high desire for was doing it himself, actually, which is great. It's just not with me, and it's not with you as a coach, okay? So here's what you want to do. When you're talking to somebody during a money conversation or before or whatever the case may be, what you ask them is really, really easy. You say, hey, listen, what is it that's making you want to tackle this right now? Like, why are you talking with me about this problem? What is it that's showing up for you in your life that's making this a pressing concern or an issue that you want to talk about or something that you want to deal with? They will give you the answer, okay? If they come up with, oh, well, I just want to learn and I'm not really sure and I just like this and I love talking, then you have your answer. High need, low desire, don't even get into the money conversation. But if they say, boy, you know what? It's something I've been dealing with for the past couple of years. I've tried it a couple of different ways, uh, you know, and I'm just like, I'm at my wit's end. I need to be able to figure out what I need to do and you came highly recommended or I saw your post or I've been following you for a while. I need high desire, then when we get to the money part, we can say, listen, I know you've been working on this for a little while. I know that this is a challenge in your life. Here's what this is going to cost in order to do that. You know, we can do, this is what I do. We can do some installments. We can work out a deposit. Like we can work this money work, but before you can make the money work, you have to have a high desire and a high need. Am I making sense? This was the biggest mistake I've made because I would consistently do it the opposite way, much to my detriment. And then I was wondering why I was having a hard time with the money conversation and enrolling people on a consistent basis. All right, so I wanted to share that with you. I'd love to be able to hear your thoughts as well on that because as always, feel free to like, share, or comment below. I handle all of the comments personally. Type it back, hit you back. If you have some things that you want to talk about, if you have some questions, I handle that personally and would love to talk with you. But in the meantime, my name is Brian Hilliard saying so long, take care, and thanks so much for your time.